Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 2, Episode 11 of The Fosters. This time the title of the episode is Christmas Past. And as always, I'm excited to watch a new episode of The Fosters, a previous episode. I don't know, it left me a little bit worried about uh, Sophia. You know, about whatever she's going to do. Uh, I felt terrible about what happened with Callie. I'm still not sure about her and <laughs> and um, Brandon, even though, you know, I sometimes get it. I sometimes, I don't know, it's a whole thing. Uh, but it always helps having conversations with all of you. I just think that sometimes it's weird, but sometimes it's like, you know, I get it. They didn't meet when they were children and it's it's so different and, and, and the way they, they meet was like... It was never, like, from the get-go, like, you two are gonna be brother and sister, you know? So, anyways, we'll see what happens on this episode. I'm excited, I hope you guys are excited as well. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love The Fosters. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full and cut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, the link, as always, will be in the description down below so for now i think that's about it i hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's just begin with season two episode 11 of the fosters here we go <laughs> Yeah, he wants to be the responsible I, I one. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He 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 has to think about all of this. This is like, you know, hitting him hard. He's been trying to deny his feelings for her, so he needs time to process. We don't need a stinking piece of paper to make it official, do we? Yeah. Our family. And There's I'll always what, that this motley crew is the best present I could ever ask for. There's always that, you know, the fact that you don't need a piece of paper to call it family. I am so, like, you know, up and down with Callie and Brandon. One episode, I'm like, yes, I want it, I need it. Then the next episode, I'm like, am I sure about it? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, like, my mood change every time. I'm sorry. Thank God, I was so afraid the gifts wouldn't arrive in time. <laughs> <laughs> I sincerely hope that she did not go crazy this year. Oh, come on, let her. Like this. Well, just be grateful that your mom is here. Mm. Have you spoken to Dana? No, and I'm not going to as long as they're with him. It's this is so insulting. I'm sorry, love. Who's Nathan? Do I know who Nathan is? And a money market with. Am I reading this right? What? Am I reading that right? A hundred and fifty thousand dollars? Did you know about that? No, I don't Do I think like so. I knew about this? Yeah. <laughs> Who else would he leave it to if not you? <laughs> Her mom. You know, there's three things that a family shouldn't discuss at Christmas time. Politics, religion, and money. And money, yes. And a woman's real age. So let's <laughs> snip it in the back. Or somebody actually does take offense. Well, I, I kind of agree with the mom and with, with Lena. How gorgeous is she, by the way? But, like, I kind of agree. I mean, it is what it is, right? Social worker had her folder on the desk. If they find out that you've been, like, stalking her, you I'm not stalking her. She's my kid. As long as she's in the system, she belongs to the state. That sucks, right? She's, she's, she's trying to look out for her as, as well. She doesn't want to, you know, anyone getting her caught and then you know, limit her chances to get her kid back. But I understand as a mother, I will be like, give me my child back. Thing right, and you get to see her. They don't need the top 10 tech gadgets of the year. What they need is, is, is a college education. There I mean. is nothing that you can do about this. And yeah. I hate to say this, but you are starting to sound just a little bit petty. Oh, Damn. Well, I sound petty. Well, that's interesting. You're the one who won't talk to your own mother because she's spending Christmas with your brother. Half brother. Oh. oh. Half brother? She said that. She's in the Jingle Bell napkin ring. Oh damn, that has to affect Jude because now Jude is Callie's half brother. Damn. 
Yes. Yes, I want... We don't have the same mother, so yes. It makes a difference. You can say that it doesn't, but half is not... is not full. I think they're in the garage. Damn, 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 damn. Am I so hurt about something he said once in anger? Once to my mother's face. Who knows how many times he said it behind her back? Well, she's forgiven him. Well, I have not. It's a word. A hateful word. Yes, an ugly, horrible word. And you know what? I've had people call me a dyke to my face. So what are you saying? Hate the word, not the hater? Well, I'm... Wait, I... did he call Lena's mom the N-word? Is that what we're discussing right now? Because if, if, if it is, then I understand why she's upset. I'm just saying that sometimes people use hateful words because they hurt, not because they hate. I mean, I'm so young and you know, people grow up, grow wiser, kinder. Well, people can change. I do believe in and, that. Uh, well, and anyone who trespasses will have me and the end of a baseball bat to contend with. Okay, old man. Take this very serious. Did you do it, Jesus? Now that we're getting death threats, I might want to renegotiate my contract. <laughs> you know, for hazard pay. <laughs> You see, he lived in another state with his mom, and when he did come to visit, he wasn't... He wasn't very nice. He was racist, you can say it. Well, maybe he was jealous. Because you got to live with your dad, and he didn't. Probably, yeah. But I hope you know that you don't have to make up for her not getting adopted or for anything with a special gift. She loves you. And you're special enough. I love their relationship. Because I feel like in some degree, like, they're so similar, you know, Jude and her. So, anyways, I just... I wanted to bring it back and say I'm sorry. Okay, that's Do you want to pay for it now? You're lucky. This bracelet <laughs> just went on sale, 60% off. <laughs> are, are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, that's good. But you better fork over the cash before the sale ends. That's good. I think it's a good thing. Happy Kwanzaa. I think it's a good thing he came back. I'm glad that the What's lady up? understands. Hey, uh, hey, where's mine? What did I get this year? You look fantastic. <laughs> For you, my love. Oh. Straight from the hutch. Well, that's a very fancy box. Ooh. Lena. Oh. Do you like them? They're beautiful. Well, let me see. I just hope they're not real. <laughs> oh, Stephanie, oh. what a thing to say. Of course they're real. I mean, they aren't, they? Oh. Yes. Yes, they're real. How many carrots? I just, I meant that I hope that they were not too expensive. Oh, come on, really sweetie. It's a gift. She's giving you a gift. She's not gonna, you're not, you're not supposed to go like, how much is this? Like, just enjoy it. After the year you've had. Don't you mean an abundant debt, mom? I mean, after all, isn't that how you were able to afford electric skateboards and extravagant beds that we don't even want? We're getting oh. electric skateboards? <sighs> Damn. It wasn't extravagant. It was a wedding gift. Okay, just inappropriate. Steph, come on. Oh, come on, Steph. Personal th but I have to say, I think you could use some new underwear. <laughs> folding the laundry, and I couldn't help but notice yours are very sensible. Maybe that's part of the sex problem. <laughs> it's not funny, Mom. This is not funny. You're telling me. Yeah, okay. You know what? You know what? They're, they're, uh, Steph is being petty right now. I burnt the lasagna. <laughs> oh. But I am trying to have a nice holiday, and you and your mother are ruining it. Honey. Damn. You guys are really, you guys really did ruin it. We what is it? wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, sweetie. I'm so sorry. It's a bad time. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I am just worried about my kids and college and you. 
when you get old and have nothing to live on. Oh, for heaven's sake, Stephanie. I tried, I tried to apologize. Can we maybe like cut around the burn part? <laughs> I love that the children are really like, can we eat? Can we be, can we be fit at this moment? I don't want to open another just, present, mother. Just open it. Jude Foster. Oh. oh, she put fonts on college things, oh. Did you think I was going to keep all Frank's money for myself? I could have told me, Mom. I wanted it to be a surprise. You could have waited, you know. You haven't heard. Tomorrow's Christmas. <laughs> you really misbehave. Oh, I feel like an idiot. Yeah. Every village has one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. The mom is so sweet. That's really sweet. I'm sorry. I thought we were gonna go broke. Daphne, this is the opposite of what you had to do. Damn. Baby, she's all cute. She's I so didn't go there planning to take her out. You made me feel better. Even though you must have been scared and sad too. Oh, Maria. Well, that's a pretty awesome gift. So I just wanted to say thank you. It's so cute. So. So. You're gonna oh. keep me company? Oh, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sleep outdoors. But happy camping. <laughs> this is how far my love gets for you. <laughs> how much appreciate you. <laughs> that is, this is so sad. The parents even like worried about her or not? Oh my god. I feel so bad for her. And everybody all looked the same. <laughs> and if you had an adopted kid, it was like a secret. You didn't tell anyone. No, it didn't matter how you all came together. It's, it's just nice to have a, a big family. Thank you, old man. Especially around the holidays. What about your family? I got three kids, all grown, scattered about the country. But well, since my wife died, they don't make it out every year. That is sad. Well, they got their own kids, you know, and they want to be home Christmas. Why don't you go see them? They ask me. But I want to be home too. That's so sad. <laughs> and, and anyway, I've got the contest, and I hate to break my winning streak. Although I think I got some competition this year. <laughs> Jesus oh, it's not gonna. It's not gonna get into the car. Merry Christmas. Oh, look at that. Really think I'd get you a cheesy tie? <laughs> it's not that cheesy. Yeah, you're a terrible liar. <laughs> we never let each other give up on our dreams. That's so cute. He looks at her with so with so much love and but sadness at the same time. Oh no. Is it for Sophia? Oh no. Oh no. Okay guys, so that was the end of season two, episode eleven of the Fosters. Well, I have to, you know, have, uh, this episode was really good, but it really, it made me feel conflicted. And I don't think that saying that is a bad thing about the relationship between, um, between Callie and, and, and Brandon. I don't think it's a, it's a bad thing to admit. At, at, at least I am admitting I'm trying to be 
honest with my opinion. And there are moments that I do feel their connection. I do not, I do not for any reason think that they ever thought about each other as brother and sister as much as they try to pretend they were, as much as they try to say we are family. But I think that the more time they spend together, the more they realize that they are for each other family, but not in the way that she is or they are with Marianne and Jesus and how, you know, like that sibling type of family. I don't think they have ever felt that way. And in, in, in like in, in the opposite, they have always felt a connection. You want to say maybe even a family bond, but it doesn't go for from the sibling route, but more from the uh, them making a family eventually and like being a family, them too, you know? So it's a different type of connection, completely different from the one that they both have with Mariana and Jesus and with Jude. Um, so for me, is um, I, I understand that. But at the same time, due to the show's nature about how you don't need a piece of paper or, you know, being born from the from the same mother or father or anything like that. Um, due to that, um, and and that is the show constant, you know, premise is where it makes me like doubt whether if I should completely like it or not. So I'm like. I, I go up and down with them. I'm, I really, really do. I go up and down. I don't really know um, how to feel about it. But I don't know. I think that this was a very um, beautiful episode. Um, and I don't think it's wrong to feel conflicted right now. Like I said, I, I understand them. I understand their connection. But at the same time, it's kind of contradictory to what the show is about. So it's kind of like, yes, I understand their connection is different. But it shouldn't be, but it is. But like, this is what they say, what family is, and technically they are. So it's it's really, honestly, it's really up and down with, um, with how I feel about them. Um... But I understand them. I, I think that the 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 beautiful relationship that they have, the beautiful connection, more so their relationship, but the beautiful connection that they have is something that you can deny. You know, everything, all odds are right now against them about them not being together because of family, because you know she's living here. And yes, it will be a completely different story if she wouldn't happen to be living with her, with with him, and she didn't happen to be growing still um, in this same house with who is supposed to be her, you know, adopted or, like, brother, you know? So it gets very conflicted. But the minute she needs help, the minute she is in need uh, 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 for some connection, you know, and for something like that, it's always, you know, he she goes back to, to Brandon. That is her safe place. And I think for Brandon as well, but Brandon is more, you know, right now is also thinking about, like, you know, is this right? He doesn't want to fuck it up because he still f believes that what happened with Danny is still his fault. So... There's a lot going on with Brandon that I'm not sure that just a kiss and just say, oh, we love each other, we're going to be together, and, like, that's it. I don't think it's that easy, you know. It's, there's a lot going on. Am I wrong to say that Lena and 
Lena and Steph do not know about their connection. I'm, I, I'm having a hard time remembering that. So if someone can like say yes or no, that would be great. Um, anyways, what else happened on this episode? We had some sort of like flashback. And also to to um, corroborate on on the whole family thing, I fully understand where uh, Lena is coming from. Um, in the sense of like, I also have a half sibling older than me, um, who I have no relation with. You know, my when when you talk to me about like how many brothers you have, I most of the time I forget to even mention her because I don't have a relationship with her. I never had my it, I have that, that sibling is from my dad's side, and I have no relationship with her. For me, she is I know she's my half sister, um, but I in my entire life I think I'm you know I'm old enough. And I have, like, in my entire life, I have probably seen her and talked to her in five different occasions. You know, it has been really, it, it, you know, my dad was never there. So he he never visited. So, of course, I never got to have a, a relationship, a friendship, or any type of sibling connection with her. And the times that we did, it was very much just... I don't know, the rivalry or like jealousy about my dad and things like that. So we never got along. So I understand Lena's uh, position where, you know, she believes that your full sister, your full sibling is not necessarily, you know, even she understands that, for instance, all of them, uh, Jesus, uh, Jude, Mariana, Brandon, Callie, they are siblings. They're all siblings. They're full siblings because they live together. They're growing together. That you know, that is her idea. But you know, her brother is not necessarily her full brother because she doesn't know him. And he was apparently when he was younger, he was uh, racist. I'm going to assume that you know he said some racist things towards his mother her mother and she has held a grudge ever since um i understand why she said that and and i understand her situation and her feeling like is is that really my sibling if i don't you know i don't share things with him and i don't even talk to him you know i think that it's interesting but at the same time steph was kind of right because you cannot go excusing people that use hateful words uh, because oh they're just mad look I get mad as well I don't go around saying you know I don't know telling people dykes or, or, or using the n where I don't do that you know when I'm upset or anything like that so yes there is, I do believe that there is room for improvement. There's room for, you know, to be better. And not because you said one thing in the past, you can grow and, and, and change and, and be different. And, and, you know, and understand how problematic and how awful it is. I do not believe that we should condemn people because, oh, in the past you used to do this and used to do that. Yeah, but now they have grown, and like I think that that's what it's about. You know, if you that that you know that there are certain things that do not work anymore. I, I am going to guess, like even myself, like back when I was very much still in the closet, not understanding the community or or, or things like that, might have said of a, a, a hurtful world words. But you grow, you learn, you, you know, and like holding someone for their past, yes, calling them out, completely okay. And seeing, seeing them change, I think is a good thing, but, but like true change, not just change for, okay, I'm doing this just because, you know, people are getting upset and like, you know, a, a fake apology with a fake video and things like that. Eh, you know, you, you really know when someone truly has change. Right. 
um, because there's always the, the cancel culture because someone said a million years ago or like in the past a few years ago, something like that, a hateful word. The thing is that they grow and if they, they acknowledge that it was a bad thing, it was a toxic thing to say, and now they are doing better, I think we can't always hold them, you know, account. I mean, hold them accountable, yes, but not hold that forever and like that's just who you are and that's who you always will be. I don't, I don't believe in that. But Steph was saying that, um, um, I think that she was letting it off a little bit easy because she was like, I understand some people use this type of war when they are upset, but that doesn't mean they're racist. To a degree, it does mean that they're racist or homophobics. You know, the thing is that if you grow and if you stop using the words whenever you're upset, I understand that. I understand the mistake. I could go with the mistake, but if they you don't grow and if you continue using that, then I'm not okay. And then, yes, of course, you're homophobic or racist or anything or something like that, you know? So I was, like, trying to be on both of them, like, on their side, understanding their point. Um, but, yeah, it's very difficult, right? It's a very difficult and very touchy subject. I just don't... I don't believe that uh, um, it's as cut clean as Lena said it or... As Steph said it, I think that there's some common ground there, at least for me in my in my opinion. Um, anyways, what also what 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 else happened in the episode? Well, um, even with the guy with the 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 neighbor that was you know he wanted to win the contest and then it was a really sad story. Um, even with him, like you could see generations, this especially you know this type of 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 um old older people that live in a time where you know this is who you marry is the the man and the wife the kids if you have a, someone who's adopted you never tell it because it's a dirty secret um you know how they have been raising what was normal for them and and having to you know realize that at the end of the day, he wishes he had a beautiful family as the Fosters do, with a a a, a, a table, a Christmas table full of people that you care and love, you know. So that also came like you. We do have to understand that it is somehow a change for, like, especially for older people to, you know, understand the new world, you know. Um, but I like the fact that he was like. You know, at the end of the day, love is love, family is family, and that in a home is not necessarily made by a man and a and a and a woman. You know, um, so I, I like that conversation between him and Jesus, and then Jesus taking the thing, so he he's not participating um, because this is the only thing this guy you know is wishing and wants to have. You know, and for him, the the reason why he enter was not as deep and meaningful as what this man was uh, talking about. For him, it was just about the money. So it was very easy for him to say, I'm not going to do it, you know. I, I mean, he deserves it more than I do, and like he took it out. I think it was a very sweet thing, and very sweet thing to do as well. Um, what else happened on the episode? What else happened on the episode? Um, oh, yeah, well, at the end, which is something that I was looking forward when I started watching this episode, I was like, what happened with, with, with Sophia? Well, it turns out we are not going to know until the next episode. Amazing. But she is hurt. I'm going to guess that the, the, the ambulance that is there, it is for her, which is so scary. So I hope that she's doing okay. Uh, oh, also we had like that Daphne uh, part. It was really sad. I felt really bad. I felt really, really bad about, um, about her, you know, because she wanted to be with her kid. 
Uh, but it was terrible, the fact that she kidnapped the, sh the child. I was like, oh my god, is she going to do this? And then I don't know how is it they didn't look like the, the, the parents were looking for, Sasha, for, for Tasha. So I was like, what the hell? But anyways, I, I'm glad that she's not going to get herself in trouble. Hopefully she won't. Um, because I feel like, like it came from a really... Like like needy place and like she needed to be with her daughter she she wanted that she's like missing out on her life and she doesn't want that to happen i don't know how is it that the mother you know she's she's having a job she's trying to get you know her 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 life together how doesn't she have priority to have the baby back you know, I understand, but, like, the fact is that they're not letting her see... I mean, she made a mistake, but she's trying to make up for it. And she really is trying and, like, give her some probation time, you know? Um, what is the worst thing that could happen, right? She's not doing drugs. She's not a threat to society or to the baby. So I, I don't understand how, you know, she is not giving that opportunity. It's really sad. Um... But yeah, the episode was great. I loved it. Hope uh, you guys loved it as well. I cannot wait for the next episode. Oh, God. What am I going to do? I have two options. I could watch the next episode right now. But then I won't watch Lucifer. And I also want to watch Lucifer. So I'm so conflicted. God damn it. Anyways, this episode was great. We'll see what I decide. Uh, what, I, what I do later. Maybe I just watch it. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys uh, like my reaction video for the Foster. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go to Patreon to watch my full uncut extended version uh, for this reaction and so much more. Um, thank you for joining and for all your support. You guys are amazing. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for the Fosters. I don't know why I made it so dramatic, but... Still. Oh, I didn't talk about the mom and the inheritance. I mean, it was a really sweet gesture, what she did at the end. She totally didn't necessarily have to do that if she didn't want to. Steph went, was being very petty. You know, she was like, I didn't got anything from dad. And the mom did. And she was like, no, I think actually that belonged to me. And I was like, dude, he didn't change it. So we can say whether he wanted to give her the money or not. You know, so she was being a little petty in that moment, which is not a good look on my girl. But then she understood. But like, I don't like that. The only thing that or why she understood was because what she wanted to be done, it was done at the end of the day. So which is a good thing for the kids. But still, you know, it made me feel sad that she thought that way, you know, because it was like. Um, and I was, I, I think it was sad because it didn't make her look good in the sense of like her, um, you know, wanting them. I understand why she wanted the money, but at the same time, if the dad le left it to the mom, what can you do, right? And Lena was right in that aspect, I think. I don't know. Anyways, that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for the Fosters. That's it. Bye, guys.